In the early 1950s, air defense technology was in a state of stagnation. The advancement of jet aircraft technology rendered many small-caliber anti-aircraft guns from World War II obsolete, while the still-developing anti-aircraft missile technology had not yet matured. To fill this equipment gap, the United Kingdom secretly embarked on the development of an intermediate-caliber anti-aircraft gun known as Red King and Red Queen. At that time, the UK decided to develop a high-rate-of-fire anti-aircraft gun that could launch more medium-caliber anti-aircraft shells in a short period of time, especially against ground-attack aircraft with armor protection. It needed to have greater destructive power than small-caliber guns. According to the plan, this gun would have better ballistic performance, higher firing rate, and stronger firepower endurance than the old Beaufort's 40mm gun. Red King was a weapon developed with the support of Switzerland and is still classified. There is not much information available about it. The gun has a three-wheeled trailer and a twin barrel structure, with the middle and top parts of the two barrels connected. It is currently unclear whether the two barrels can fire independently, alternate firing, or move together. The ammunition supply for the gun is a large ammunition drum placed on the left side. The ammunition is arranged in groups of three rounds, with the projectile heads facing inward. There are a total of 25 ammunition drums, totaling 75 rounds. To improve the performance of the projectiles, unconventional 42mm ammunition was redesigned. The ammunition casing is short and thick to reduce size for easier installation. There are two sizes of casings, 338mm and 348mm, due to the use of different projectile heads. It is said that when Red King fires these shells, it can achieve a muzzle energy of 624,000 joules. The 1.09 kilo projectile can reach a muzzle velocity of 1,070 meters per second. The entire weapon system can achieve a theoretical maximum firing rate of 450 rounds per minute. This fully armed anti-aircraft gun weighs 6.5 tons and can only be towed by a motor vehicle. The development of this gun lasted until 1958 and was highly classified. After participating in testing, the prototype gun disappeared and is rumored to be stored in a secretive location, possibly as a technological reserve. It is currently unclear why, in 1952, the UK decided to develop Red Queen using its own technological capabilities. Red Queen was a model that competed with Red King and borrowed heavily from it. This gun is also highly classified, but it is known to have a four-wheeled carriage and a water-cooled barrel structure, with only one barrel. The ammunition supply is still a 75-round high-capacity ammunition drum. Red Queen uses shorter and thicker projectiles, with the casing diameter increased from 70mm to 80mm. It is believed that this design is to reduce the gun's movement during firing, facilitating quick ejection of spent casings and improving firing rate. Although Red King and Red Queen were competitors, neither of them had a final outcome. The specific reasons are unknown, but it is known that in the late 1950s, the UK chose the improved version of the Beaufort's 40mm L70 anti-aircraft gun from Beaufort's company, which was used until the 1970s. As for why these two anti-aircraft guns were named with red, some people believe it is mainly related to the UK's secrecy mechanism at the time. The UK randomly assigned different color codes to classified projects to confuse potential enemies who might come into contact with related documents, and this anti-aircraft gun project happened to be assigned the color red. Whether it is Red King or Red Queen, their failures were not accidental. Looking back from today's perspective, anti-aircraft guns have never been phased out of history, but they have evolved towards self-propelled and intelligent development. There is not much room for improvement in the performance of 40mm level anti-aircraft ammunition. The focus of improvement is mainly on accuracy and reaction speed.